Hard clipping and soft clipping are terms that get thrown about quite a bit when people are talking about the circuits in different drive pedals. You can read descriptions online and that's fine, but I want to hear the difference between the two. So I just thought I'd make this video, have some fun playing through some classic hard and soft clipping drive pedals. You get to hear the differences for yourself, as well as me just sharing why I might choose one over the other, depending on what I'm playing. Let's get the most simplistic definition out of the way first, and then I'll get on some of the exceptions. So basically, pedals that use soft clipping go into saturation more gradually. So they tend to lend themselves more to lower gain, overdrive type sounds. You know, they're quite amp-like. They can go into high gain, but what often happens is that the sound just compresses more and more as you add more gain. See if you can hear what I mean. Hard clippers, as the name suggests, clip the signal much more aggressively. They go into saturation much more suddenly. So because of that, they tend to be a bit better suited to high gain and distortion sounds. So in short, most of the time, I choose soft clippers for my low gain and overdrive sounds. Well, I think hard clippers are a bit better at the higher gain and distortion sounds. I've set all these pedals up with the settings that I feel best demonstrates each individual pedal's typical sound and application. Have a listen to the difference between them and while I have my favorites, let me know in the comments, you know, which is your overall favorite or which is your favorite out of the soft clippers and which is your favorite out of the hard clippers.
Now for some of the exceptions. Clon style pedals, for instance, use hard clipping, but they have a really cool circuit where there's actually a clean blend control built into the gain knob. And at least partly because of that, it can go from completely clean to a lovely mild overdrive, all the way to a fairly cutting distortion. So it's not your average hard clipper. So just for fun, let's try adding a clean blend control to one of the other hard clippers and compare it to the sound of the Clon style pedal. I've got a whole video on parallel stacking that you might wanna check out if you like this, but um, just know that you can add a clean blend control to any of your favorite hard clipping distortion pedals if you want to maybe improve its lower gain sounds or you know, improve its note definition and dynamics in its distortion sounds. See what you think. Okay, next I'm gonna try and match the EQ of two classic hard and soft clipping pedals as closely as I can using a parametric EQ. So hopefully the tone of each pedal will be more or less the same and we can focus on the breakup characteristic, you know, the clipping um, characteristic of each pedal. You know, the way it breaks up or compresses. And let me know in the comments which you like best, which clipping characteristic you think is for you and maybe why, but um, I just think this is a really cool way of kind of demonstrating and helping to understand the difference in the clipping characteristics between that sort of more gradual soft clipping sound and the sort of more aggressive hard clipping sound. I'll play using some changes in dynamics and see if you can hear what I mean. 